first altar is a dedication to Antenna Kitticus by a Roman soldier. As you can imagine, carving the letters out of stone was difficult, and in order to make it easier to carve and to read, the words were often in all capital letters, and sometimes, like here, used stops to indicate breaks between words, or leaves as stops or as decoration. As well, the masons were sometimes illiterate themselves, which would, which would have made their job even harder. In order to save space and time, abbreviations of common words were often used. Here you can see that some words have been shortened, like COS for consul. See if you can spot the other abbreviations that have been used. In full, the Latin would read Deo Anokitico Udices Optimorum Maximorum K Imperatorum Nostrorum Sub Ulpio Marcello Consulari Tineus Longus Imprefectura Equitum Lato Clavo Exornatus Et Questo Designatus, which means to the god Anokiticus Tineus Longus set this up, having, while prefect of cavalry, been adorned with the broad stripe and designated Kestor by the decrees of our best and greatest emperors under Ulpius Marcellus, consular governor. Latin didn't use as many small words as English does, such as to or for or by, because they changed the endings of the words themselves to show what was going on. For example, Deo Anarchitico is translated as to the god Anarchiticus, but there is no word for to. This is because the O at the ends of the words indicates that they are in the dative case, meaning something is to or for the word in question. You can read more about the different cases on the website. Antenochiscus was probably a local god, but who were the other people mentioned? Tinius Longus, who dedicated the altar, describes himself as having been adorned with the broad stripe and designated Kestor, while he was prefect of cavalry. A prefect was the commanding officer of an auxiliary force, in this case a cavalry force. Being adorned with the broad stripe is a reference to the special togas that senators wore, which had a three-inch wide purple stripe on the front, so this means that Tinius had been made a senator, a member of the Roman Senate, which helped to govern Rome. Being Kestor means that he held a year-long role that involved having financial responsibilities over a certain area. Ulpius Marcellus was the consular governor of Britain in around AD 177-184. We aren't completely sure how long he was in Britain for, but he was definitely there in the year 180, as he tried to suppress a revolt wherein tribes from the north, now Scotland, breached Hadrian's War. The emperors referred to on the inscription were Marcus Aurelius and Commodus, who were ruling all the way from Rome.